Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have your week ahead reading. I added this video every weekend to help you out with the next week or the next seven days. Whenever you're watching this, you can count the next seven days for you if you're not watching the weekend and will help you out in some way. If you're new, my name is Josie. I hope you consider subscribing. All my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy shops. The crystals you see in front of you, my own decks I have created and much more. All the links are there. I have a Patreon account as well. I want to thank all my patrons for the support. We have a lot of fun with the patrons only lives. So check that out if you're interested. I do live readings as well in this channel, private readings. So all my links will be there. Today we have three options. Group one here is with the Tarot of the Vampires, of Vampires. So in case this helps out here with the box. Group two is with the Dark Wood Tarot. If it helps you out. This is the Dark Wood Tarot. And group three is with the Witch's Tarot. Okay, so whichever one, this one here. Whichever one calls your attention first is most likely the right one. But of course you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be on the description below. Think what was an 18, leave the rest behind, have fun as well. I always say, I set my intentions to connect with your spirit guides to have even more answers than I give to you on the videos. So have fun with that as well and take what was an 18. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be on the description below. Again, group one with the Tarot of Vampires, two with the Darkwood Tarot, and three with the Witch's Tarot. Timestamp always on the first pinned comment and the description below. Thanks for watching. Hi, group one. If you chose the Tarot of Vampires, we start with Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days. Whenever you're watching this, those are timeless readings. Like I always say, you can just count the next seven days for you. Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days for group one. Group one. Okay. We do have the death card, Scorpio energies. For Wednesday, Thursday, or halfway through the week. On the following two days, if you're not watching the weekend. Group one. The full majors for you. And the last three days of the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Group one, weekend or the last three days. Ten of skulls. And you're gonna get extra cards for a love life, career, spirit guides advising you. But we do start this week with the death card, which is Scorpio energies. And this energy of transformation, something changing for you, transforming, evolving, having to go deep here to Really release what's not serving anyway to be able to step into your power, your emotions and understanding what's the best for you. What's not serving anyway. I always say a place, person, attitude, negativities, overthinking, stress. It can be small things for some people, bigger things for others. But just allowing the transformation and trusting the transition moment that there may be to resolve something. It could be in between resolving something but having to allow this transformation process here to go deeper, to really trust your intuition and do take a leap of faith because after the death, we do have a rebirth. And in this case, really is starting here. Maybe you needed to start from zero in some situation. Maybe you need to start again in that connection, starting again as friends or working on the friendship side of the relationship or starting again on your career or your business, things that you will try to manifest or resolve. You may need to have a new approach and reset. And the fool is jumping in with a leap of faith. You don't know all the answers, but you still trust in the universe to catch you, will guide you in the right direction. So you really trust in your intuition for some kind of reset. And it can be travel energies, starting a new journey. What is coming to your mind right now? Your guides are giving you even more answers. But do not be afraid of closing what's not serving because it's definitely going to open a new path and give you the clarity. And again, you may be just opening that door to start something new a new job, a new relationship, or a new phase in this connection or in the situation that you're trying to manifest or resolve. But it really brings blessings because the Ten of Skulls is actually the Ten of Pentacles. So it does bring you a lot of blessings and it can be financial blessing, but it can be security, own relationships, or where you are. Feeling blessed, feeling like you are in the right place with the right people. 
And it does require you know, patience as well to go through this path. It's not always easy. But I do feel like your guide is telling you, do not be afraid to close chapters that are not serving. It's going to open doors and point you into the right direction of blessings and what you're supposed to do and things that you're really happy about. Sorry if you see a little bit of a glare here as well. But let's get some cards for your love life, whether you're in a relationship or not. Group one, love life this week, in a relationship or not. What do you need to know? Maybe those changes are for a relationship. I'll take just the top one, which is the daughter of Grails, which is the page of cups. It's actually romantic energies, crush energies, early days on connections, or you know, restarting again this romantic time for you guys. If you need more time for each other, you see this reset in a relationship that you may already have, or people have encouraged to share how they feel, or you may see someone that is really attracted to you and flirting with you, having a crush on you. It could be that you find out who this is. It could be the early days of this romantic connection. What are signs too? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So trust your intuition here to allow yourself to really see who's there that maybe you didn't see before. But let's see here for your career, whether you are working or not. So it could be positive energies here. My guys are saying good news coming regarding your love life. Career, finances, whether you're working or not. Group one this week. The one for me is the Prince of Skulls, which is the Knight of Pentacles. And you can see the Ten of Pentacles is here too. So I do feel like this is definitely a job offer, opportunities, a chance to be happy with something that you're manifesting, an offer coming your way. So what are you trying to manifest? They're trying to manifest a new job, an opportunity, or just more money. This is definitely that uh, situation that is coming with positive news for you. So I do feel like you have something good coming this week for you, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here too. So I do feel like you have some kind of blessing, financial blessing. So let me know what this is because it comes with some positive news here for you regarding your career, finances, money coming your way. So I feel like you're very happy about that. Let's see here for an advice of the week. And we're going to get a few oracle cards here too. Advice of the week for group one or energy of the week from your guides. What are they telling you for this week? We do have the Lord of Skulls, which is the King of Pentacles. Look at that. All these Pentacles energies for you. I really feel like it's because you're stepping into a lot of abundance. Also grounding yourself, having patience. I know this energy of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It can be that to step into those powers. It can be a specific person crossing a path, helping you. But I do feel like you are stepping into these blessing energies. And it's all because you're not afraid to let go and close the chapters that are not serving and allowing the transformation process starting again. And I feel like you're being guided towards a lot of blessings, security, relationships, you know, financial. I do feel like the guides are saying you do have this balanced energy that will help you to see things from a more grounded perspective this week. So I do feel like it's a blessed week, but it starts with you not being afraid to let go. Let's see here a couple of messages for this week here for you guys as well. Any other focus from your guides this week? Group one, what else you needed to know? We do have the toad, which the message here is observe for those who watch, see you. Look at that, observe. For those who watch, see all. See all. <laughs> so it's the energy of seeing things from a higher perspective, from another perspective. Observe what is no longer serving anyway. That is time to let go. And it's going to be helpful for you to be able to evolve and grow with everything and open new doors, new opportunities. Anything else for this week? Group one. We also have uh, the corn maze. Although your path is unclear, it is there waiting for your faith to lead you. Look at that uh, energy of the fool. Yes, you don't know all the answers with the fool, but you know you're being guided to take that direction, to let go of what's not serving anyway and be able to manifest here. So I feel like it's a good thing. And also, even if it's unclear, you don't know all the answers, but you're still taking your leap of faith. What else your spirit guides are helping you with this week? What are they helping you with? Or any focus of the week? We do have psychic abilities. Look at that. Your spirit guides helping you open your third eye. Listen to the synchronicities, to the signs, 
to your guides telling you this is the direction. Say no to what's not serving. Trust in the intuition that is already telling you for a while. This path here needs to be closed because there's something better for you. So this is the week of those realizations. One extra message here. We also have the home. Look at that. Definitely the energy of the Ten of Pentacles too, which is stability, happy home, be able to bring balance into things that could have been one-sided, difficult before. You have, I feel like it is happy home, this stability, this feeling like you can call somewhere home or you can build this stability for a home. So it could be a lot of hope energies here too. And feeling at home, feeling grounded, feeling like you can trust where you are and where you're going as well. I'll leave with this, group one. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals in front of you, my own decks I have created them much more. All the links are there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. If you chose the dark wood tarot, we start with Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days for you. If you're not watching the weekend, I always say those are timeless readings. You can just count the next seven days for you. Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days for group two. Six of swords for the following two days, or Wednesday, Thursday, halfway through the week, or the following Two days, group two, queen of pentacles, and for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or the last three days. Again, timeless readings, count to the next seven days for you. We do have, I'll take just the top one, the three of pentacles, and you're going to get extra cards here for your love life, your spirit guides advising you, for your career, for your love life, but we do start this week with the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is this energy of moving. So maybe you are moving jobs, moving houses, or just moving something that you felt stuck in your life, you not know, this last few weeks, or even this whole year. It could be a need to allow the move and seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, calmer waters after some turbulent time here, and it could be you know, challenging situations that you have been going through. And you finally have this chance to see a light at the end of the tunnel, moving. But also learning your lessons, taking with you your lessons, your swords, your knowledge, your skills, and be able to move forward. So there's some kind of decision here that will allow you to, okay, that's my lesson. I'm taking this with me and I'm moving. So whatever is coming to your mind right now, trust here your guides for the decision of moving because it's going to help you out. Look at that. You do step into the Queen of Pentacles energy, Earth energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but really feeling that self-love, self-care. You're doing things for you first before being able to take care of others. Yes, you're able to be there for others too, a very nurturing energy, but you take care of you first. There's a lot of abundance, blessings, financial blessings, grounding energy, the earth energy. So if you were a lot in your mind, having to learn this lesson, you ground yourself after you see that light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like that self-love, self-care, you do things for you to then be able to allow what's next. So if you like whatever decision you make at the beginning of the week, you're very sure that you're on the right path here. And also for the weekend, you do have the Three of Pentacles, which is help from others, collaboration, to manifest money, yes, but also to help your friend energy, helping you out to do something that you need help with, or maybe it's this move here, or this decision that opens different doors, and you do have collaboration with others, connection with others, that will be very beneficial for everybody involved. So pay attention to that, do not let opportunities to work with other people be there for others because they are there for you to to pass you by because it's going to be this exchange of positive energies that really helps you out along the way so a decision beginning of the week will help you to step into this positive energy blessings i'm really feeling grounded feeling like you are happy with, with where you are and where you're going let's see here for your love life whether you are in a relationship or not this week group two love life Okay, let me think. Just the one that is starting, which is the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is this energy of learning lessons too, but having patience. So whoever you are trying to manifest in your life or even if you are in a relationship, trying to have patience here with yourself, whoever's involved there, 
is going to be very beneficial to create the basis of foundations of trust, communication, knowledge, getting to know someone. So even if it's someone trying to come back to your life or new with your life, take the time here to create those foundations will be very important. And even if you are in a relationship, foundations of communication can be a specific lesson from the past. You guys need to learn that the way you communicated didn't work. So you needed to keep going and being able to have foundations that are important for you to create that balance as well. And I feel like having patience. So who's trying to communicate with you? Are they having maybe trouble communicating with you? You need to have patience with them. Who's trying to reach out and talk to you? Who's coming to your mind right now? Or you may already know someone that has a crush on you or trying to come into your life and they needed to build the foundations of courage to make sure they can trust how they feel. They trust how you feel. So there's an energy of exchange here of getting to know each other as well. Let's see for your career finances this week, whether you're working or not. Career and finances, money this week. What's going on? We do have the Nine of Pentacles, which is definitely hard work, payback, abundance, blessings. No doubt to step into the Queen of Pentacles. So it could be a specific money coming your way or blessings coming your way, a result, an information, um, news from interviews or job opportunities or your own business, things that you are investing on. So pay attention because... There's a lot of hard work and many things that you could have done by yourself, but just know that your hard work will pay back. This is also being able to see the abundance and feeling happy about all your energy that you put into something finally coming to fruition. So this is a good thing. So let me know what this is. This could be really good news coming. But let's see an advice of the week or energy of the week from your guides. Group two, what's the energy or advice? And we have many other oracle cards too. Energy from your guides. Okay, we actually have... Uh, the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is an advice. It's this energy of, you know, you have been putting a lot of hard work here in a situation on yourself or your business or your relationships or your healing. And uh, it's a completion of a hard phase or a difficult phase. And this could be why you're moving as well, because it's this movement after putting a lot of hard work and finally seeing results this week. So I feel like this is a week of recognizing hard work, it's paying back, even if you had to give an extra push. And just knowing that you don't need to do all by yourself. You do have collaboration from others. Many times with the Ten of Wands, we have a lot of um, this, you know, energies on our shoulders. And we feel like we have to do all by ourselves. When in reality, you have help right there along the way. Don't forget to ask for help because it's going to be given. Let's see here a couple of messages that we needed to hear as well or focus on this week. Group 2. What else we need for this week? You do have uh, the Tobacco. Feed your ancestors. Raise the sacred smoke to them, for they are hungry to connect. Look at that. Your ancestors trying to connect with you. Maybe tobacco make, means something for you specifically. Maybe uh, you have gone through a tobacco sacred ceremony as well, so you know what this is about. But in any case, I feel like you could be getting signs, synchronicities from your ancestors trying to guide you this week, especially for making a decision beginning of the week. Connect with them if you need help. And also you do have the pumpkin spice and apple cider. Look at that for this time of the year. If you're watching this straight away, nothing is more nostalgic than the joy of belonging in your presence. This really is the energy of the Queen of Pentacles as well. Having that time for you, for self-love, self-care, for breathing, for sitting down and enjoying, you know, a cup of coffee or tea or just eating something that you enjoy, treating yourself, taking care of yourself, being in your own presence and being able to Understand how you feel, how you feel in that moment, you know, being able to have patience with yourself, being, you know, with this energy of in the present moment, not being stuck in the past, not uh, worrying about the future, but really enjoying the present moment as well. So do that this week, especially halfway through the week, after making a hard decision or a decision at the beginning of the week, you know that you need that time for you as well, and it's going to be very beneficial. Anything else that your guides are helping you with this week? Group two, what do you guys are helping me with this week? What else we need to know? Okay, they're helping you with closure. Look at that. And again, the six of swords, when you decide something, you walk away from what's not serving, or just have closure about something that we need to resolve, then you can walk away, you walk freely, you walk with your uh, lesson, and you understand why something happened for you, not happening to you. But understand here, what's my lesson? Closure this week about something that you needed. And remember the 10 energies, the 10 of wands is definitely a 10, a completion, a closure. What's coming to your mind, group two? 
anything else you guys are telling you they're helping you with this week or they're gonna be helping you to focus on clarity and no doubt clarity to make a decision to realize what's best for you what's the best way what's the best path for me so you have a lot of clarity and it can be because you have signs as well from your ancestors so don't forget that so you have clarity this week for decisions for directions and knowing that you will be on the right path i feel like you are going to be very assured of where you needed to go and decisions you needed to make here at the beginning of the week that will help you to really ground yourself and connect with others as well in a positive way i'll leave with this group two i hope this helps out or resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you if you want an extension of this reading or anything from my etsy shops the crystals in front of you my own decks i have created them, many others all the links are there like share this video it helps the channel so much and as always i wish you a lovely week thanks for watching hi group three if you chose the witch tarot we started monday tuesday or the next two days if you're not watching the weekend that's fine those are timeless readings like i always say so monday tuesday or the following two days the next two days ace of pentacles for group three wednesday thursday halfway through the week or the following two days if you're not watching the weekend that's fine i'll take just the top one which is the page of wands and the weekend friday saturday sunday or the last three days group three weekend the friday saturday sunday okay the page another page of pentacles okay we start with these and we're gonna get extra cards for a love life career spirit guys advising you but you know you have some doors opening here when it comes to finances blessings it can be a gift as well you know maybe you, you get a gift and it can be a financial gift but it can be something that is valuable for you this really is an energy of having patience as well doors are opening opportunities are opening for you but they may need to still go through a road to really understand everything about this opportunity it can be money coming away ideas coming away but it's the beginning it's the first step the doors and it can be you know a choice and opportunity maybe you are looking for a job or extra money or ways to manifest more money and you, do, you could have ideas you could have an opportunity to invest on something it can be the early days and the guys are saying halfway to the week page of ones you really see your journey ahead of you and i feel like you get into that fire passion and it can be creativity ideas but just knowing that uh, to have courage because sometimes with the page of ones we do have some fears to take the chance but you still move through the fears for what you wanted to do or what that you wanted to manifest here you have a road ahead of you which is for you it's for you to take action nobody else can do it for you you have the door opening in front of you but you have to go through so even if there are some fears or things that you don't know all the answers they get to say go with the flow because your guides are sending you into the right path so i feel like having the courage to take action towards this opportunity that is coming your way so you have a decision here and comes the weekend we do have the page of pentacles which is good news coming so whatever this door that is opening here if you have any doubts by the weekend i feel like you know you know what it's about you know the direction you know what you need to do what action you need to take here and i feel like you really connect with the fire passion and the patience as well knowing that is the beginning but also is something that you're being guided illuminated having patience one day at a time one step at a time will guide you into the right direction i feel like it's good news coming when it comes to friendship energies even if someone is interested in you in a romantic way or they have feelings for you or you are in a relationship even if they wanted to work on the friendship side of the connection having you know to take just one step at a time i feel like having patience with each other will help you out here too we're gonna get extra guys for your love life but i do feel like a good news coming you open a door here you take action and you know which direction you need to go for many of you financial career blessings but also for friendship for opportunities for creativity connecting with that fire and passion too i feel like it's a positive week no doubt but let's see here for your love life too whether you are in a relationship or not because this could be early days on connections too and look at that we do have temperance which is sagittarius energies having patience with your person whoever's trying to come into your life or even if you are in a relationship i feel like patience to balance things out pros and cons and having patience healing as well but also understanding that is one day at a time one step at a time even if this person is approaching you friendly slowly doesn't mean like that's all they want this could be the courage that they have right now or even if you're in a relationship having patience with each other healing from the past situations 
it's gonna be so positive here for you because it's necessary to see things from each other's perspective too to balance things that could have been one-sided or really really out of balance so i feel like it's a positive energy for your love life too let's see for your career finances are they working or not we do have the emperor it really is this energy of step into your power not be afraid to lead to take action do something aries energies of the fire it's the fire of the page of wands here can be your opportunity career wise but this could be someone that you're talking with as well they're reaching out you're having the courage to talk to them so do not be afraid to talk to them because it's going to make a difference it's going to be really helpful here for you so i feel like it's a blessing for you being able to really connect with the right person as well so if you wanted to reach out to someone that you know is in charge can give you an advice in some way can lead you in some way can be there for you you know taking action here and you as well stepping into this emperor energy you can be Focus on what is important for you, what's good for you. Not be afraid to lead here, whatever you wanted to manifest regarding your career, finances, or changes here for you. Let's see a um, message, like an advice or energy of the week from your spirit guides. And you get oracle cards too. We do have the two of ones. I really feel like your guides are telling you, you do have options ahead of you. You have choices. The world is on your hands. You know, sometimes you feel like, other people have the power over us or situations are unfolding that we can't control. This is really this energy of you have the power. You know, you the world is on your hands. You have choices ahead of you that are good for you. So trust your heart, trust your intuition. Because I feel like you're going to be opening doors this week in different areas of your life that you just need to have the courage to go through and you're manifesting a blessing here too. Let's get some extra cards here as well from your guides. What else they wanted to know this week group? any other information you have the fire cider hopefully you can see the message here dwell in a medicine that exists to protect the spirit look at that being able to really follow your intuition here when it comes to you know dwell in medicines that are there to protect you so it could be setting intentions visualizing your success setting protection you know energies for you lighting a candle with intention connecting with your guides here in a way that can be helpful so look to fire cider as well if you wanted to get more information about this but well, this can be something very good for protection so just know that if you want to take a leap of faith on something those doors that are opening for you if you are afraid you are protected along the way and anything else here that you need to know this week you also have the kitchen witchery abundance flows easily and effortlessly into my into your life be in gratitude look at that and that is definitely the energy of ace of pentacles this pentacles energy is this good news coming this week you do have uh, these blessings abundance blessings coming away and abundance not just financial but feeling abundant feeling like in the right place with the right people i always say the gratitude mind frame is everything should be thankful for what you have to multiply and have even more blessings coming away so the guys are telling you have blessings seeing the gratitude mind frame this week because you're going to see results abundance coming flowing easily and effortlessly in your life anything else that the guys wanted to help you with or focus on this week group three any other focus from your spirit guides okay i'll take this too anyway we do have travel so it could be planning travel energies many times with the page energies you start a new journey as well so some of you could be planning to travel or traveling specifically this week so it can be a good thing remember the two of ones as well could be uh, travel like decisions and choices things that you wanted to do in the future even if you're not doing this week could be planning and also prosperity look at that and you got the abundance here the ace of pentacles i do feel like if you need some financial blessings results jobs you know paying things that you, you couldn't pay before i feel like your guides are really helping you with prosperity and blessings this week and it could be just opening those doors and again it could be ideas creativities that will help you to connect with what will manifest you, more money your way so do not miss the opportunities that come this week to really go through those doors that are opening for you of prosperity abundance blessings that will help you to ground other areas step into your power and really take back your power and understand you have decisions ahead of you that are on your hands nobody else needs to do this for you you can do it i'll leave with this group three i hope this helps out and resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you 
You found an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops. The crystals you see in front of you, my own decks I have created, and much more. All the links are there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching.